On the program this evening, historically, it has been true that no politician and no political party has wanted to give up control of the CBI. Our debate tonight, can the CBI in India ever be free of political control? Will the Lokpal campaign at least ensure that? This on a day when Anna Hazare's team has rejected the government draft that is before cabinet and will be before parliament. Like every night, you can take part in our debate online. Our webpage, edtv.com slash backstops here is now open for your comments. You can, of course, tweet us as well. We'll run the best tweets through the course of this debate. But first, let's bring you the latest developments on this breaking story tonight. As the government puts the final touches on a draft cleared by the Prime Minister, can it create consensus? First amongst itself, with its allies, and then with the major opposition parties. Sandeep Pukan has the latest on this developing story that has the government on tenterhooks. Well, the latest is that the CBI will continue to be a sticking point, not just between government and Team Anna, but also with the opposition. Uh, well, uh, on the one hand, the government has uh, conceded some ground to Team Anna and uh, suggestions from opposition. The Prime Minister's office will be included under the ambit of Lokpal with safeguards, of course, even lower bureaucracy. The government has found a, a sort of a, a different way of bringing in Group C and D employees. Complain, uh, complaints against Group C and D employees can be filed directly under Lokpal, but any inquiry or investigation will be carried through CVC. So uh, Group C is taken care of through appropriate mechanism. But when it comes to CBI, I think that's where the problem lies. The government does not want to tinker with the uh, present structure of the CBI, so the CBI will continue to have its investigation wing. The CBI will continue to have its own prosecution wing. Uh, the appointment uh, system of uh, uh, the system of appointing director has been somewhat changed uh, from the present system. Uh, the appointment panel wants uh, uh, the appointment panel will have the prime minister, the leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha the Chief Justice of India and an eminent jurist nominated by President of India. Quite clearly, the BJP is not very happy with the CBI formula. This could well turn out to be a deal breaker, really, uh, because at the all-party meeting, the BJP had made it clear that they do not quite favor the Team Anna model of including CBI under Lokpal, but they certainly wanted less government control, more autonomy and more independence. Uh, one's not sure if the BJP would agree that the current system, uh, the current architecture of CBI is what uh, they had bargained for. So Anna Hazare has declared that the draft that is to be approved by the cabinet and then placed before parliament of the Lokpal bill is not acceptable to him. From the citizens charter to the CBI, nothing at the moment has satisfied Anna Hazare who says his agitation will be on as scheduled from next week. On the buck stops here today, we focus on one of the most contentious issues of the Lokpal bill, the role of the CBI. Who should the CBI report to? Independence for India's premier investigative agency is, of course, urgently needed. Nobody disputes that for years the CBI has been fettered by politics and political control. We ask today whether the CBI in India can ever escape political control and who it should report to. Let me start with you, Pinaki Mishra, if I may. You were a member of the standing committee that actually uh, drew up that particular draft, which is now seeing many amendments. But one thing has stayed, according to our knowledge, and that is that sanction for prosecution that was early required of a public servant has been done away with. But we've had other parties at the all-party meeting raising concerns about this, leading many cynics to say no political party in this country wants to give up its control over the CBI. Well, that's true. I think that's uh, absolutely a given for the last 13, 14 years after the Supreme Court judgment. Every shade of every you know, political opinion has uh, tried to keep CBI under its control. We've had the NDA for five to six years. We've had the UPA thereafter. They've all been reluctant to cede control, and they've used the CBI shamelessly to further their political ends. It's their favorite hatchet tool for every political party. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.